myself. Father God, thank you so much for blessing me with this day. What a privilege it is to be able to be up early on a Saturday morning to be able to spend this time with you, Lord. God, I pray that the YouTube video that I would film today would be one that would truly serve people, that we would love people, God, that it would reach as many people out there as possible, um, God, and that the value in it would just truly be able to inspire and push people to do more and better their lives, Lord. Hey, it is so good to see you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Richard. I'm a senior studying biology at UCLA, and I'm also an entrepreneur. If this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos, pause right here, go click that little eye with the circle thing right in that corner, and that's gonna take you to a playlist of all of the high performance videos that I make. It'll give you a good idea of what it is exactly that I do. Today, I wanna share with you four extremely, extremely tactical concepts things that I learned in the past three years of being in university that I really wish I knew going into university. And so this is gonna be realistic, tactical advice that you could use immediately as soon as you finish watching this video. There is gonna be a bonus at the very end, so make sure you watch those four things and take it to the very end of the video. So right now, it is a Saturday morning at 4.30 a.m. I gotta go catch a workout at 5 a.m. with a good friend of mine, his name is Heath Evans. He was a stud football player back in the NFL. More importantly, a strong brother in Christ. So we're gonna go hang out and I gotta get my day going. So stay tuned for those four strategies. Let's go. training with the one and only Heath Evans. Heath Evans. And, uh, I've heard it both ways. <laughs> yeah. And this this man right here is is one of the guys that I really, really look up to, not because of the accomplishments of this life, but because of the strong faith that this man has in the Lord. And uh, this man is really inspiring me. Now, the, the, the purpose of this video today is I, I want to explain to you the first concept when it comes to getting out of that unmotivated state, which is fitness. It's something that I preach all the time, and, and this man especially. So Heath, what do you think about the fact of training in the gym, like what does that do to you? Well, I think it starts your day right. Uh, I would say you better train your soul first, so get up and get in your word, and then you better get your body right. So healthy soul, healthy body. Um, but if you want to take that a step further, sometimes we don't have motivation to get out of bed to get to the gym, so find some accountability, someone that's gonna meet you there and get your butt going. There it is. The gym is the first thing, or second thing after the Lord that you gotta hit. My second thing. The second thing, my second thing that you gotta prioritize in your day. That's the first thing. I want to hear about it. I don't want to talk more about it. <laughs> Father of Heaven. It's um, man, what a blessing this conversation. It's an is. interesting time. What a blessing. Uh, even uh, now, I'm wondering. Even now, I'm wondering. Wow, oh wow. Just got back home to the apartment. I had an amazing workout with Michael Hearn, Mona, as well as Heath Evans, all three of which are entrepreneurs, fitness professionals, people of great character integrity that I truly do look up to. And actually, the, 
Now that I think about it, it blows my mind because all these connections were made because of my mentors, Joel Marion and Vince Domani. The second thing that I wanna talk about is consistency in the little things. Now, you might be thinking, you know, when it comes to these really big audacious projects such as studying for an enormous final exam or preparing to launch a business or preparing for a final competition as an athlete, those are the times that you need to buckle down. But no, actually, it's the small things in your university career that are going to significantly affect your overall success. And so the smallest things, such as how I eat on a day-to-day -day basis, how I make my bed, the fact that I have to take a cold shower every single freaking morning, those are the little things that stack into the big things. Because how can you be successful at the big things if you can't even be successful at the small things? Whether, no matter where you are in school right now, just know that in order to win at the biggest things in life, you have to take care of the smallest things, including your diet, your study habits, the fact that your phone is turned off when you're in class and you're not answering text messages, all those little things stack up and determine who you are. Hope that helps. So it's 10 a.m. right now, already got a super awesome workout, amazing breakfast with Heath, and I got about four hours of time now that I'm gonna be working on my business, Entrepreneur Sidekick, that connects entrepreneurs with students who are looking for mentors and internships. And I'm gonna do about four hours of work right now. I have about six entrepreneurs that I'm currently connecting with students. I gotta tackle this, but stay tuned for the next tip. There now, which I think, maybe for the first five, it's five, but in the long term strategy, it's like mentee. Like, you're looking for what Vince was looking for in you, right? Exactly. That's the reason why they grow this program. All right, so it is 6 p.m. right now. I have reached my heart stop for Saturday. Yes, I do work on Saturdays, but I also wanna make sure that I have time for myself, for social life, for relaxation, and as we approach Sunday, the day of the Sabbath, I wanna make sure I honor my God as well as make time for myself to really prevent burnout from happening. So I'm done for work for the day. But the third thing that I wanna to explain to you to combat against a lack of motivation is this. Take some risks. You have to get out of your comfort zone and do things that make you uncomfortable. One of the things that I live by is I always want to be getting comfortable being uncomfortable. That's why I take cold showers. That's why for every single speaking opportunity out there, I make sure I always take it. That's why I always want to have conversations with people that I might feel intimidated by because they might be more successful professionally. I want to do these things on a consistent basis because I know that if I don't do it, I'm just going to begin to become comfortable and complacent and stop pushing the boundaries. If you're a student, there are so many opportunities to do this. Apply for that club position. Go talk to that professor after class in a 300 person lecture hall, even though everyone's too intimidated to talk to them. Do the things that you know are going to make you uncomfortable, but you know are the exact things that you should be doing to grow, okay? That's the third thing. If you take action on just this one thing, your life will drastically change as you continue to do more and more. So as I said, the day is over. I'm actually gonna go grab some In-N-Out right now. It's gonna be my cheat meal of the week. So let's get going on that. I got one more awesome tip for you right after that. Focus, focus, why don't you focus, camera? All right, here we go. Boom, just got back from In-N-Out. Gonna chow down on this awesome meal right here. Got a double-double and some fries. But before I do, I wanted to let you know of the fourth action tip that I would strongly advise you if you are feeling unmotivated. And it is simply this. Understand that whatever it is that you are trying to accomplish in university is so much bigger than you. A lot of times, university students think, I need to do well on this test so that I can get a good career, so that I can make good money, so that I can have the success of this life and the recognition. What's the common word there? I. Me, 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 it's all about me. Well, let me tell you something. If you wanna get motivated, if you wanna start waking up every single day with a fire inside your heart that drives you forward no matter what, it's gotta be way bigger than you. For myself, 
the reason why I work hard, the reason why I push, the reason why I have so much drive is because I am so dedicated to my faith. I truly believe that God has called me on a mission to go out and love people and love God and that is done through my business endeavors. Now for yourself, what is that why for you, right? Is it your family? Is it because you genuinely want to serve and love people? Maybe it's your faith right? Whatever it may be, you have to identify what is your why and it has to be bigger than you. The second I think to myself, I'm doing this because I want to glorify myself. I want to make my name known to the world is the second I start failing because I'm fully aware that God is going to be like, um, let me just try to humble you real quick. But that's besides the point. Get focused on what is the bigger vision for what it is that you want for your life. And that has to involve more things than just you. It is your responsibility to those around you, to your family, to those that you love, to do something with the life that you've been blessed to have. And the bonus that I have for you is you have to surround yourself. I just realized this thing's been blocking the camera the whole time. <laughs> you have to surround yourself with people who are better than you. I'm constantly thinking of how I can get in rooms, how I can get in relationships where I'm constantly learning from others. People who are humble, people who are hardworking, people who have done amazing things with the lives that they've been blessed to have. And these are the people that I'm always trying to surround myself with, which is why you'll see in my videos, I'm constantly trying to shake hands, give value, lead with value in relationships with people who have done so many greater things in the business and entrepreneurial space. Because I want to get in with them so that I can help improve upon myself as well. If you want a deeper dive on my motivations and how I got started in this whole entrepreneurial space, definitely listen to the podcast. I'm going to put it right here where my mentor, Vince Delmani, interviewed me and I shared my entire story of how I found my mentor, my entrepreneurial failures in the past, and how I have utilized networking to a very specific technique to get my way up to meet high level entrepreneurs. Now, if you're looking for a mentor, I do have a company called Entrepreneur Sidekick in which I actually connect students with entrepreneurs who are willing to mentor students. So if you wanna find out more about information on this, join the Facebook group. The link is gonna be in the description of this video and I promise you that you will not be disappointed with the value that you receive from there. And until next time, stay sharp, stay focused, and go crush it.